Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the feature update or the biggest update for the main release, Windows 11 25H2. And this is the second update of the month called the C release, where Microsoft is basically introducing the new features that they've introduced in the release preview channel a week ago. And in this video, we're going to talk about all the new main features that are introduced in this build. And of course, if you want to see an in-depth presentation of all the features and small fixes that were applied, you can also check my previous video that I've done for the release preview channel. So in this video, we are talking about about the build 2600.7019 as I've said version 25h2 this update has also been released to 24h2 but as I've said we're only covering the version 25h2 from now on also inside Windows update you may notice that this update has the build code KB5067036 so Microsoft has now started to show both the build number and also the code so in this video of course as always we're gonna talk about what is new what has changed and uh, if you enjoyed videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also also subscribe the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all if you want to get all the new features in your main release build make sure you open up the settings app then go into the Windows update section make sure you enable get the latest updates as soon as they are available and then click on check for updates this way you may have the chance to get all the latest updates as soon as possible but also if the majority of new features aren't available for you yet after you install the build you can check out my previous video that I've done in which I showed you how to manually enable all the new features if you don't want to wait for Microsoft's slow rollout. So now let's move on to the new features. As I've said in this video, I'm only going to highlight the main features. And if you want to check out an in-depth video of all the small changes and fixes, you can check out the video that I've done for the release preview channel. First of all, Microsoft is now officially rolling out the new start menu. And basically the new start menu includes a scrollable view where you're going to have the pin section with the OAP section in the same page of the start menu alongside with the new phone side bar that you can enable by clicking this button you have different options so that you can see recent activity from your mobile phone directly in the start menu also the start settings was pretty much changed it has a few other settings that you can disable for example if you want to disable the recommended section from the start menu inside the file explorer Microsoft is introducing the recommended files in the file explorer homepage and whenever you use certain files you may see that this recommended section will appear alongside with options that you can do with it for example this button which which will open up the context menu and these buttons that allow you to switch between the recommended files. Microsoft is also introducing the new taskbar battery icon. So for laptops, you're going to have at least four different icons that you'll be able to see. So for example, this is the plugged in status of the battery. If I were to unplug it, it will show something like this. And also if I were to enable energy saver, it will turn to an orange icon. And of course, finally, if your battery gets low and your laptop is not plugged in, we're going to see a red battery icon. As you can see, Microsoft is now also showing the battery percentage directly in the test bar. And if you want to enable or disable this, you can just right click on this, click on power and sleep settings, and you're going to have the option battery percentage, display battery percentage on test bar. You can enable or disable if you don't like it. Another small but useful change is that the notification center will now appear on all monitors. So if you're using secondary monitors, multiple monitors, you're going to be able to see this notification section on all you were monitors. Related to lock screens, you may notice that the new battery icons will also be present in the Windows 11 lock screen, so I think that is also great news. Related to the drag tray in Windows 11, you may notice that Microsoft has done a few changes. For example, they will suggest better apps depending on the file you want to share, and also we're going to have multiple files sharing support related to the drag tray, so that is also pretty useful. One other thing related to Windows, Microsoft has stated that they fixed the issue where sometimes when you update it and shut down your PC, the PC would still not shut down and just restart. That should now be fixed. So whenever you're installing updates now and you use the option update and shut down, that option should now work. There are also a few app updates in this updates. So of course, for this, make sure you open up the Microsoft Store, go into the download section and then click on check for updates so that you make sure you have all the latest app updates. And this will include all the apps that Microsoft is updating monthly. Of course, mainly the Copilot app, which recently has been receiving a lot of updates. So related to the Copilot, Pilot app, for example, Microsoft is adding connectors and also setting support. So for example, if you type, I want to change my wallpaper inside Copilot, you may notice that Copilot will give you a quick link to settings so that it can quickly change your wallpaper. And I think this is pretty useful for people who use Copilot. Also related to snipping tool, Microsoft is adding a new option, which is called quick markup. So if you press Windows Shift plus S to take a screenshot, you're going to have this option and you can also access it by pressing the Control plus 
plus E keyboard combination. If we use it, you'll notice that we can edit a section of our screen before taking the screenshot. So we can apply different effects, different objects if we want, for example, outlines and uh, different stuff like this. And then we can capture and the screenshot will contain the modifications that we've done before even taking the screenshot. So this is also a pretty useful thing that was added inside the snipping tool app. And finally, related to the paint app, Microsoft has added a new opacity slider here in the left side that it can use and also the ability to save your paint creations as a project that you can edit later. This is also pretty useful. These are pretty much the main things that were changed and applied in this feature update for the main release of Windows 11 25H2. As I've said, you can check out the video from the description in which I've done an in-depth presentation of every small change that, that was applied if you want to check that out. Also, if you want to see how to enable all the new features manually, I'm going to have another video in the description below. Of course, for more information about this update, make sure to check out the article below in the video's description or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TickBase. Until next time, have a nice day.